Welcome to the Puckin' Stoner Dad Show with your host, Dusty. All these franchises and all these people that used to fucking control me. The Ginge. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Check out our short form content on Shorts and TikTok. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Puckin' Stoner Dad Show. We are doing the third installment of the Division Predictions. We are on the Metropolitan Dusty. How is it going? Oh, bro, it's going great, man. I'm, I'm so pumped. Season's about to start. Our speech season hockey's about to start. We got training camp already started right now. We got our first game on Sunday. This coming, oh. I know by the time Sunday's already going to be passed by the time you guys are going to listen to this, but we're pumped. We're so fucking pumped. You guys don't even get it. We're yeah. this. Look how fast I can move to move, and I'm baked right now. That's how <laughs> pumped we are. Look what I can do. <laughs> look, mom, all, right. all hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, number eight. Numero wit. Yes. Number eight. I got the Blue Jackets. Mm, me too. Not this again. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think we're gonna have that again. But I think losing Liney. Losing some goaling, and then obviously the passing of uh, Johnny Goudreau. That's I think. what I'm thinking. The, yeah, the you're going gonna... yeah. to... Uh, Johnny Goudreau, that's going to shake that team, and it's going to be hard to overcome it. And I know everyone wants to see like the miracle, like, ah, we did it for him. But like, it's hard to play to your full potential when you've got that weighing on you. Look at Elvis Merzlikens, man. Remember the accident with uh, the other goaltender? He was friends with him. It happened right in front of him. Kiv, Kiv, I believe, yeah. I believe something like that. He jumped on a firework for him. And yeah. He uh, passed away from that. And man, like that's even like, I find ever since that he has not been the same goalie. Like yeah. He showed a lot of promise, that guy. And then, you know, like even the least, I remember the least at one time, they were looking at, like, wanting to get him. So, I guess we'll see how it plans out. But, yeah, definitely, I don't see, I think they're, they're going to be at the bottom right now anyway. I even, I probably would have had them down there anyway. Yeah, oh, for sure. Even, even with the without the passing of Johnny, I would have had them down there anyway. But that's less offense they have now. Yeah. So, all right, number seven, Penguins. We yeah, we definitely know we're close now, which is awesome. Because now we have room for discussion on this and even maybe some debate. Number seven, I have Philly. Oh, that's my next one. So there won't be much okay. debate on my end. <laughs> so I think Philly kind of like, yeah, they, they had a really great year last year. I think that was kind of like a more of a shocking kind of shocking run. They kind of went on. I think they still need to just keep building, man keep building to keep doing what you're doing like keep build make the philadelphia flyers the broad street bullies again and i think you're going to be absolutely set that's what i on them uh you have pittsburgh uh so what makes you think they're going to take a step back that uh, big of a step back 
it's just the age and the history reshitting itself. I I know that I know that it's not the same team, but I look at who's in charge of that ship, Mr. Dubis, and I just feel like he can run it more into the ground before he's done. Yeah, definitely. I I just they were so disappointing last year. I, I feel like it's not going to get much better this year. Mm -hmm. I was even kind of surprised. I was kind of calling that Crosby was going to do something weird like sign in Colorado to go play with Mac Dad. But I, man, I, a lot of people were kind of hoping for that, though. That would have been kind of cool, man. Like, go get your cup. Real bro. cool. Go get but your yeah, cap. They're just, it's so, they're all washed. It's old time, like, not just old time hockey. It's old hockey. It's Crosby. He's still an amazing player, one of the best to ever play. But he's not the Crosby he used to be, and he can't do it alone. And they've got nobody up there to help him, man. Like, everyone, it's like watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, his grandparents laying in bed. See, I, that's see where I I actually kind of disagree with that. I think because I have Pitt really high on mine, really not like really high, but like they're not. They're in okay, so like they're in my upper four. I'll say. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I, you're gonna. You, I think you can never count out a motivated Sidney Crosby. I think Sidney Crosby still had over 90 points last year. He was over a point a game player. I think yeah, if you can maintain uh, Malkin being there, Malkin, you still can't out count him out. Uh, didn't see anything. Is Latane still there? Latane hasn't retired yet, has he? I don't think so. I, don't say, I think Latane's there. Uh, I, Really underplayed, like I think Noel Charlie. I think he could have a bounce back year, right? Coming back in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, nice tough guy. Add some that. You got Bunting on there for a full season. Oh yeah. Oh man, yeah. I guess Bunting. I forgot about that bastard. Yeah. So that's kind of why I had Pitt. Kind of, I'm gonna. I'll say where I had Pitt. Like when I get there, but like I definitely don't have Pitt within those though. Um. So number six, I have the Washington Capitals. Okay, so we're not far. I, off. Yeah, I think I, I think Washington's going to start falling off from where they should be. Man, they were like like Pitt, right? Like dominant for so long that like they were really good and like countless countless memories of Ovechkin versus Crosby and like. Watching those two battle it out with each other in the playoffs, man, like core memories for sure. Watching that, those two, yeah. Oh, yeah, most, but of yeah, it's, it's time they take their step back. I, I, I still think Ovi's probably gonna obviously, Ovi's probably gonna pass Gretzky soon. I don't know if it's gonna be this year. I will. So, yeah. Okay, so number six, who do you have? Yeah. Uh, the Flyers. Okay, so you had Philly down there. Okay, yeah. So you think, too, that you think their kind of run last year was kind of like on a fluke, right? Like, yeah, I think like, that was just like a feel good movie kind of thing, man. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to happen. The Torts effect of coming in and and uh, squeezing blood from a stone, scene, right? Like he has that effect of going in and making a massive impact on teams within the first year or two, and like they were good, but they just need some extra pieces, man. They need to keep building, and they'll get there. They're good. I I'm excited to see if they are at the Bot Street Bullies again. I'm so excited. That'll be so much fun to watch. That would be. Yeah. Okay, so 
Number five, then. Capitals. Number five. I got the Islanders. That's that's not far. Yeah. Still. I I man, what are they? That's I don't know what the Islanders are right now. You know, like it's Lou. Who knows who they've signed, right? Because Lou doesn't fucking say anything. He runs such a, such a tight ship there. Yeah, and like. True. I, 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 Lou is a great, he's a great GM. I don't hate all the moves he's done. I'm not like in love with the guy. He likes his toughness, but like some of his motives, it's like, I don't like, I don't get why it matters. Like why your players have to be clean shaven. Like that one, obviously both of us have beards. So we are going to wonder why, like it really matters. Yeah. That one didn't make sense to me. The high yeah. numbers didn't either. Yeah, that does, that's to me. That's a thing of like I'm going to I can I'm in control. Like that's a weird yeah. control thing. I think. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I don't know. Like, who knows? Is Patrick Wall going to be able to go into that room and have the full season and see what he's got with the team, or is it a team that still needs to add a couple extra pieces and like scoring? I think I think Patrick was going to get something out of him, that's for sure. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't play boring-ass hockey. They've fucking known to be. <laughs> yeah. So you said five. I keep forgetting who you said at five. Who did you say at five? Capitals. Okay, Caps, okay. All right, number four. Number four, I've got the Devils. Devils. Okay, Ooh, we're we're far from there. Number four, I have Pitt. Like I said, they're in my top four. For the reasons that I did explain earlier. Number three, who you got? Islanders. Okay. Number three, I got Carolina. Uh, like me, you have always said, consistent team. You know they're going to be in the playoffs. You know they're, they can be that scary team in the playoffs. I thought they maybe might have fired, they would fire Rod this summer like but definitely didn't that kind of shocked me but maybe it's because caroline is cheap and just doesn't want to pay someone else i don't know i don't know yeah. uh yeah i they extended him, didn't they Uh, who's that again? Brindamore? Oh, yeah, they did this summer. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty yeah. sure they extended them, not fired. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they definitely extended them. That's funny. uh, number two, Hurricanes. Okay, so not that far off. I got the Rangers at number two. Yeah, that's that's my number one. Yeah, okay, I can see it. Rangers. Again, solid team, man. Like it's, uh, I think they do have that chance. Like if they can win the division, number one. I got the New Jersey Devils. It's going to be the most leafy thing possible, man. Sheldon Keefe goes in oh, there. Damn, Brand new coach man. effect. Brand new coach effect. They went out. They got uh, Dylan Dubé. They got Brett Pesce. On the defense, they still have a healthy Dougie Hamilton. They have their goaltending uh, situation uh, settled with uh, Markstrom in there. Uh, and I believe you're going to have a healthy Jack Hughes and Nico Heischer. Like, I have, I, I just think, yeah, definitely division winner. For me, 
most sleepy thing to happen. I could see them going to the Stanley Cup Finals. That would suck. Oh, God. It's the most that sleepy thing suck. possible, man. He'll win the Jack Adams and go to the Stanley Cup Finals. Win the and Stanley probably, Cup. And probably win the Stanley Cup. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the Devils win the Cup, man. I would not be surprised at all. Man. Yeah. Fuck, right? I didn't even fucking consider that. Any of that. Yeah. Ah. Fuck's yeah. sakes. Well, all so, right. <laughs> all right. So that of it, that does it for the Metro. Coming up next tomorrow, look out for the Atlantic Division, the final division. Check it out. It will be released at uh, noon. Get that on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Music. Don't forget to check that out. Till then, guys. See ya. Peace. Thank you for watching. Like. Subscribe. Check out our social medias. We are now on Spotify and Apple Podcast.